um, maybe tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I, um, I finished um, school at UNM about a year ago. I studied journalism. Um, I grew up here in Albuquerque and also in Bosque Farms. Um, I'm, I'm from California originally, but I've been here um, since I was three. So this is home for me. Okay. Well, what, what drew you to, um, tell us a little bit about how you got into journalism and what drew you to journalism. Yeah, I really got into it in college. Um, it had already been my major for a couple of years, but I was really kind of not feeling super inspired by it. Um, and then I really got into it at the beginning of the pandemic, um, writing for the Daily Lobo, to is UNM student paper. Um, and it kind of started, I was actually just like pitching one story. Um, the like student um, clinic was closing. And I wanted to write the story about how that was gonna impact um, students who maybe relied on the clinic. Um, and then I think the Lobo was understaffed and they were looking for people. And the editor in chief at the time was like, we have a new reporter. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll go with this. Um, and it ended up being really great. Um, I, I wish I had started sooner, but um, yeah, I think kind of really the driving force was this idea of holding power to account. Um, some of the first stories I wrote were, you know, UNM staff um, not getting hazard pay and saying that they were having issues um, accessing personal protective equipment. Um, and then I also, you know, there's a protest for a rent freeze, calling for a rent freeze and hospital employees um, protesting for hazard pay and all just so much going on um, that it was, it was just really exciting to be able to, to be there and to tell those stories that maybe some of them would have um, not been told otherwise. Um, and then for the rest of that year, most of what I was doing was um, covering protests, so. Mm -hmm. um, so then we kind of had you come on board with New Mexico in Depth for a year as part of our annual academic fellowship. And um, that was great. And you, and you did some really great projects for us. Yeah, it was it was really good experience for sure. I think going from um, you know I really I really cared about and loved the work I did at the Lobo, but it was a lot of kind of quick turnaround. Like I'm I'm going out to this protest and then I'm writing a story. Um, a lot of it was really um, just fast moving, and so to be able to slow down a little bit at in depth and tell these longer form stories and take like a month or two to really um, flesh them out was was mm -hmm. really great. Mm -hmm. So even after the end of the fellowship. We had this idea that you know let's find out it was related to to um gerrymandering the co the topic of elections and gerrymandering which isn't something that um people normally think of when they think about incarcerated people um, but it's actually quite, kind of a big big issue in in discussions around uh, the redrawing of political boundaries and we had to um we wanted to find out where prisoners' hometowns were. Where did they live before they went to prison? To think about, to think through this idea that them being counted where prisons are located distorts the size of particular political districts. And then you had to actually fight for that data. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Or yeah, I was going to say that's really like the first time I've really had to like fight um, for public records, which was really good experience. Um, yeah, that was, I feel like that was like a few months that we were going back and forth. Um, yeah, just like really wrestling with the department trying to get um, these addresses. And yeah, I think it, it took probably half a year. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so then when, after you left New Mexico in depth, you went um, to the Santa Fe Reporter on a fellowship opportunity. What did you, what did you do there? Yeah, so I was there for about eight months. Um, I started um, last summer and I had like five beats. So it was, um, it was a lot. It was a, definitely a big like learning experience. Um, just getting, getting that experience covering um, a lot of different, a lot of different things that I had really no experience with. Um, you know, I covered the South side of Santa Fe, Santa Fe County. So that included the County jail and there were some public records fights in there too. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, local business, cannabis, um, housing was a pretty big thing that I got into. Awesome. So now we now we get you back. Um, yeah. So we pursued a um, opportunity through an organization. It's a national organization called Report for America that places um, 
up and coming journalists across the country at, at news organizations and helps support that through funding. Um, so we just feel, feel, we feel very fortunate that we're in the program and that you were accepted into the program and we had kind of a meeting of the minds and you're gonna be working with us starting in June. I mean, who knows where the year is gonna take us, but tell me a little bit about what you hope to achieve. Yeah, I mean, I think the really, one of the really big things for me is um, being back in Albuquerque is really exciting. Um, you know, it was it was good to, I think, um, kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit and be reporting in Santa Fe. I don't know Santa Fe very well at all, um, but Albuquerque really is my home and it's where I really got my start in journalism. Um, so just the opportunity to be back here is really exciting. Um, but I think, you know, another really big piece of it other than kind of I think it kind of can go hand in hand, the idea of like holding power to account, which is a really big um, like motivation for me getting into journalism, but also um, the idea of being able to amplify the voices of, of people who otherwise wouldn't um, have that platform. And you know, in Albuquerque, we have a really significant native population and um, there's just not really a lot of coverage, dedicated coverage here um, of that community. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of a, a broad answer, but mm -hmm. I'm really excited to be back. Well, we, we're excited to have you back and we're looking forward to doing really great work with you. So thank you and um, to everyone else, stay tuned. <laughs>